Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and these are some romance books that have shifters in them. I love shifters, I just do. And so this has like a wide range of shifters. You have dragon shifters, wolf shifters, um, you have uh, Minotaur shifters? We're, we're just gonna talk about them, let's go. First I have the Fireblood Dragon series by Ruby Dixon. The first book being Fire and His Blood. So this whole series centers around Earth and its post-apocalyptic state. So years ago a rift opened up in the sky on earth and dragons started flying through the earth and basically decimating the whole planet there are only a few survivors here and there in little camps so each book in this is about a human falling in love with a dragon and they have faded mates so a lot of the time the dragon will be flying around the earth and they will scent their mate and then fly to them and steal them away <laughs> That's a lot of what happens um, and then they can change to their humanoid form and they actually don't talk verbally they have like um, What's it called when you like talk with your mind telekinetic telepathic abilities whichever the one whichever one that is and so once they become mates they can speak mind to mind with one another the dragon very rarely actually verbally talks. Each book except one is about a human woman falling in love with a male dragon. My favorite book in the series is the one where you have a human man falling in love with a female dragon. Like that one was so good. I adore this series and I think it's so good and so underrated. Another underrated series is the Moon series by Lisa Kessler. These are wolf shifter books and panther shifter books y'all. So each book is about one of the um, guys from this wolf pack finding their mate. And the first book, I'll tell you about the first book because each book is very different, but the first one is about Adam and I believe he's the alpha of this pack. I think I just said panther shifters, they're jaguar shifters, not panther shifters. But anyway, jaguar shifters are sworn enemies to wolf shifters. And so Adam has been learning about this panther shifter going around and hurting people or some kind of shifter hurting people in the middle of the night. And so he goes to investigate who this panther, jaguar, why did I say panther? Jaguar shifter is. Our heroine in here, Lana, grew up in the foster system and she has been having a horrible time. She will wake up in the morning in the middle of nowhere and the whole night will be like a blackout for her. She doesn't know what happened to her in the middle of the night. But she'll just wake up with no clothes on in the middle of nowhere. Little does she know, She's a jaguar shifter and she doesn't know it. And so she's eating at a diner one day and Adam walks in and he scents a, a jaguar shifter, intent to kill it. And then he also scents Lana and realizes that that is his mate also. So he is mated to his sworn enemy. And she has no idea that shifters exist. She doesn't know that she's a shifter. So he has to walk her through this whole process of shifters and the shifter world. Very interesting. Each book is very different. One is about a wolf shifter falling in love with a human. One is about a wolf shifter falling in love with another wolf shifter. You also have the last book in the series. I believe the male is the only like male shifter, uh, male jaguar shifter main perspective um so there's that dynamic too um i just think this series is so underrated and no one has read them but me and i feel like more people need to read them you then have the immortals after dark series by cressley cole not every book in this series is a shifter character um i'll just talk about two that i really loved that were shifters in the series the first book is a hunger like no other and our heroine in here she is half valkyrie half a vampire and our hero um what's his name his name is lachlan and he is a lycae who's basically kind of like a werewolf and so he is imprisoned underground by some evil vampires and when he's underground he can smell like scents up above on the actual like ground and he can scent his mate who he has been waiting for for years and he breaks his own leg to get out of these bonds to go find her because once he loses her scent she's gone and he can't ever find her again he's like i need to find her so he breaks out of his bonds and goes up to the surface of earth he finally finds his mate just to find out that she is his sworn enemy because she smells like a vampire and he is devastated and angry and she's she's just like leave me alone <laughs> She doesn't want anything to do with him and she's a little bit scared of him this big werewolf man but of course throughout this book he becomes completely smitten with her this book is so good the rest of the books in the series are as well another book 
in that series that has a shifter in it is called McCreave. This book is so good too. <laughs> this one is so good. This is about McCreave and um, Chloe. Uh, McCreave is a Lycae shifter. So McCreave has this very, very, very damaged past. Like he has a lot of PTSD for what he went through as a kid and the way that his parents died. Um, and he blames himself a lot for that. He then comes across Chloe who knows nothing about the um, mythological world. Like she just knows nothing about vampires or like a, she thinks she's a human girl. She might not be human, but I'm not gonna tell you what she is because that is a spoiler. McCreeve comes across her by happenstance, ends up saving her from the trouble that she's in and um, realizes that she uh, may be something that he was not expecting. I just love this series. So there's just two of the shifter books in the series. There are definitely other shifter books in the series. I definitely recommend checking out the rest of the Immortals After Dark series if you have not yet. Next I have Elizabeth's Wolf by Laura Lee. This book is one of the first romance books that I ever read that I physically owned in my hands. So it's been over six years, I wanna say, since I've read this book. And so it's a little bit fuzzy, but I will say some of the scenes in here yeah <laughs> that's like the only thing I remember is like those scenes and like they were good they were good I will say I was a little confused reading this because this is I think like deep into a shifter series and I didn't know that so maybe go check out the other books in the series before this one so this is about a special forces soldier dash while he was in the army he's basically given up his will to live and the only thing that's keeping him alive are these notes that this little girl has written him as a pen pal named Cassie. Cassie writes him every single week and writes about her mother as well. By her letters, he just, he can sense and immediately knows that Cassie and her mother are in danger. So he goes in search of them and he comes across Elizabeth, who is Cassie's mother, and he realizes that they are fated to be together. Also, Dash may or may not be a wolf shifter. And so Dash is taking care of Elizabeth and Cassie and keeping them safe from this dangerous person they are running from. Yeah, this book was a little confusing um, because I didn't know some of the previous uh, shifter world building because I feel like it happens in previous books in the series. But overall, this book, this, those scenes are good. They're, they're good you know. <laughs> I then have A Mating the Huntress by Talia Hibbert. I feel like a lot of people love this one and know about this one. I love this one. It's all about Chastity and Luke. Luke is a wolf shifter and Chastity is a wolf huntress. So Luke smells Chastity one day and comes across her in a coffee shop she works at and basically sits there every day just to admire her because he realizes that that is his mate and he's infatuated with her. And Chastity knows who Luke is, like knows that that is a wolf. Like she can tell that that's a wolf. And so she's planning on a way to kill him. And so Luke one day like brings up enough courage to go and ask her out. And Chastity's like, this is the perfect opportunity for me to prove myself to my family and for me to finally kill a wolf. And so she says, yes. <laughs> and then on their date, she tries to kill him. And Luke thinks it's so cute. <laughs> And it's just so sweet and wholesome. I loved this one and I definitely feel like other people would love this one too. If you have not checked this one out yet, please do. It is so stinking good. I then have Her Sweet Alpha by Thayer King. This is another wolf shifter. This is about Dade and Hallie. Dade is the alpha to a wolf pack and in this world, parallel to ours, um, wolf shifters were just like revealed to exist. And so a bunch of humans are very put off by and very standoffish when it comes to wolves, but they know that they exist in the world now. Dade has been searching and searching and searching for his true mate and he's kind of down in the dumps because it's about to be his 30th birthday and he still has not found her yet. He then comes across Hallie and she works at this diner that he goes to and he cannot believe that his true mate is a human. Dade has never been with a human and honestly humans have been quite terrified of him even though he is a big softie, he is a big person in general. He's huge, he's big, he looks intimidating but he's a big softie inside and so Hallie is a little bit apprehensive to uh, be with Dade because he's so big and a little bit intimidating to look at but Dade just falls in love with her and like shows her that his world is not as scary as she thinks it is and oh this book is just so good and like if you want a man who will swoon over his woman this man swoons over his woman y'all then i have asterion asterion 
I don't know which one it is, by Alyssa Thorne. This is the first book in the Court of the Underworld series. So this is the first book in a series that is um, a paranormal romance series that is kind of dark-ish and it's a city ruled by Hades and this series is all about uh, his court of gods and monsters. So this is about one of the monsters that is a part of Hades' court. So Asterion is one of Hades's, Hades's henchmen, um, and he runs the labyrinth in this city. And Ariadne is an assassin who has been tasked to kill Asterion. She does this by seducing him. She seduces, seduces him one night. She realizes when they are together that he shifts into a minotaur like he's the minotaur she had no idea and so he shifts into an actual minotaur so that's the shifter part of this series so that's the shifter part of this book um he can shift into an actual minotaur and so she thinks that he kills him that night and then he he can come back to life and she did not know that <laughs> and so he's basically out to get her now out to get this woman and cannot believe that a woman killed him or tried to kill him but he's also in infatuated with her and so it's about him trying to track down this woman this was so interesting because i've never read any minotaur book before that point and um it's just quite enlightening quite interesting <laughs> then i have stalked by the kraken by lillian lark if you want another book where the hero swoons over the heroine this one is the way to go rose in here she is a witch this is a paranormal romance by the way so rose is a witch she's also a matchmaker she works at this matchmaking company gideon is a kraken shifter and so he has little tentacles that he can shift into. <laughs> so Gideon one day scents Rose, like comes across Rose's scent and realizes that that is his mate. And so he stalks her a little bit to figure out what she does with her life and where she works and everything. And he realizes that she's a matchmaker. And so he goes up to her one day and is like, hey, I want to be set up on a date. I want to be with somebody. And he, she's like, okay, cool. And he's like, no, 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 don't set me up with anybody. Like, you know, I want to be set up with you. And she's like, what? <laughs> And so they get into this romance where they have like three dates together that they have to have at this certain place. I don't want to go too much into it, but they have to have three dates. And on those three dates, Gideon is trying to convince her to like be his lifelong maiden partner in life. This is so sweet. You wouldn't think that a tentacle romance would be sweet. This one is sweet. It's so wholesome. <laughs> I thought the uh, crack and shifter part in here was quite unique. <laughs> It definitely plays into their time together. So yeah, I liked it. I lastly have Shift Just Got Real by Ruby Dixon. This is book number three in the Bear Bites series or her Shift series, her Shift bind up. She has like five Bear Shifter books. This was the only book a part of that series that I actually liked. Um, each of them are novellas and all the other ones are either three stars or lower from me. This one is the only four star book out of the entire series. I feel like you could only read this one and you'd be perfectly fine. This book is about Mal and Ryan. Mal is this big bear shifter. And one day when he's at the grocery store, he can scent his mate. Like he finally can scent his mate. He, he can smell her and he's trying to find her. And he realizes that his mate is a girl named Ryan and she is underage and he is mortified. And he's like, I do not want to be with a girl who is underage. That is, that's wrong, that's so wrong. And so he runs away. He goes and becomes a recluse up in the mountains. They live in Colorado, I want to say. And so he goes and becomes a recluse in the mountains. It's now years later. Ryan is now, I believe, 21 or 20. But she has been longing over Mal for years. And there isn't a very big, a big age gap in between the two of them. And she does not care. And so Mal, like, is now trying to uh keep tabs on her and to see if she's okay and to basically check up on her and one night while he's checking up on her ryan decides to take it upon herself to finally convince him that they should be together <laughs> this one is honestly so sweet so cute if you want a novella that's also an age gap romance please check this one out so there you have it those are some shifter romances for you i feel like shifters fit in with the fall season um good fall season books to read because they're i don't know shifters make me feel kind of like halloweeny paranormally you know so let me know if you check out any of these books or if you have read any of these books please let me know but anyways thank y'all so much for watching i will see y'all soon in my next one bye y'all